Hey biology friends, it's Mr. Pollard again. In this video, we're going to be setting up a chromatography experiment to analyze pigments found in leaves. Let's look at the materials we're using in this experiment. I have a leaf sample. Uh, it's actually leaf from a beet that we're using, but uh, you could run this experiment using leaves from trees. You could also use spinach leaves. I have three 400 milliliter beakers. I have three pencils, one for each beaker. I have some tape. I have chromatography paper that I've cut to a length of about 10 centimeters. And what I want to do on each of my chromatography papers is mark on one end uh, a line about 1.5 centimeters from the end here, 1.5 centimeters. And I'm just going to draw a line like that. And I want to label here. Uh, so what I'm telling you here is that this piece of chromatography paper will be placed into a beaker where we're using water as the running solvent for the chromatography experiment. This chromatography paper will be run in 70% isopropyl alcohol. And the third right here, we'll be running this one in 91% rubbing alcohol. This is the chromatography paper that will be going into the water. And what I'm going to do is just place my beet leaf on top of that chromatography paper. And I'm going to carefully place the ruler to over the top of the leaf to match the line that I drew. So I'm just holding the leaf kind of right to the edge. And I'm going to match that line with the ruler. And then I'm going to run a coin. I'm going to roll a coin over the leaf to match the line. And what I want to do is press the um, juices out of the leaf so that they transfer onto the paper. And as I do this, I'll be transferring the pigments from the leaf onto the paper as well. I just want to try to match. So I'm just rubbing up against the edge of the ruler. You can start to see here that I'm transferring some of those pigments from the leaf onto the paper. I'm going to repeat this process several times for this paper, and then I'll do the same thing for the two other papers, and then we're going to get them set up in the beaker so that we can run our samples. This is our sample that's going to run in the water. You can see a little bit of um, mostly green pigment that's been transferred over to the chromatography paper. You might see a little hint of red, again, uh, using leaves from beets. So that's beta lane, uh, which gives beets their distinctive kind of dark red, purple color. Here's the paper that runs in 70% alcohol. This is the paper that will run in the 91% alcohol. Tape each of the chromatography papers to a pencil. So just using a small amount of tape. And this is my paper that's going into the water. Just attach that to the top here. And then I'm just going to tape this to a pencil. So again, I want the bottom of the paper to dip into the liquid, but I don't want the liquid to touch the line that I've drawn. So I just want this to go down about like this. Okay. So 70%. Here's that 91%. And earlier we did the water. I'll add enough liquid so that the bottom of the paper dips into the liquid, but the line that I drew with the beet pigments is going to be above the liquid level. just finished running my chromatography experiment. I could have probably let this run a little bit longer, but I think we're seeing what we want to see here. Definitely seeing separation in the different pigments present in the beet leaves. 
Thank you for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. If you want to learn more about photosynthesis, you should check out this video right here.